Yo, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to Real Identity tonight on episode 5 of season 3 of A Re A Z A Row. Um, tonight on episode, you already said that. Boom! Alright, comment section, let's just get there. So, this is the plan. Wait, 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 before you skip ahead, let me explain the plan, okay? Whoa, 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 rearing, okay? Um, the plan is as follows. We're gonna read the comment section, then we're gonna watch break time episodes, I think, 4 and 5. I think I have both of them. I have at least 5. I have both of them. I have both of them. Don't freak out. Um, and then we're going to watch the new episode and then we're going to yap about it. All right. So there's a four segmented plan. You know what I mean? So, uh, and then a little, little chapters, you know, there's like the timeline right here, right? Of all the different things you can like scroll over it and there'll be the chapters. So you can go wherever your heart desires. But yeah, let me just start with the comments. Um, comment section. We increased the security a little bit cause there was like a close call last week or something about like spoilers or something. Basically don't spoil things. Um, that's rude, but yeah, anyways, back to it. So basically Regulus. Um, I just, this is just a funny comment. Wait, let me get my notes up too. Basically, Regulus, remember him? Yeah, anyways. So, I don't know why, I don't know, if, this is what I was going to say. I don't know who gave Regulus Subaru's phone, but why is he in my comment section defending himself? Like, this is the most obvious, like, paid chatter moment I've ever seen, bro. This is, I'm not violating his rights by saying he's objectifying women. He's violating women's rights. Is that just me, guys? Is that just me? Am I the crazy one? I've been got. But also, that reminded me, where is Subaru's phone? He still has that, right? I literally was like, before I started the epi before I started like clicking recording, I was thinking to myself like about this comment. I was like, oh, this is a funny comment. I should say that like Regulus wrote this. But then I was like, oh, that actually could be true if he got Subaru's phone, like that, you know, Subaru's Metia, which is just a phone. But then I was like, where is that? So Subaru still has that, right? I think he still has that. Anyways, um, yeah, chatters love Regulus. Um, very sweet comment. Is that a battle? <gasps> Wait, this is a Battle Cats profile pic. Yay, it's Battle Cats. That's just a sweet comment. All right, can we lock in for like five seconds? Okay, this is important. So, lock in. Um, mistranslation errors. Capella actually says, I'll start by turning, not slicing. And this was right before the chainsaw sounds being broadcast across everything. This is really important because turning makes it obvious that she's referring to the eggs. You know what I mean by the eggs in the, I think it was in the OP or the ED. She has like her, her yacht, but it, I'm sorry, but it's, um, it's the orbs on her booty. Right. And then when we are pulling up and the two witch cult members attacked us, there were all those like weird eggs with the tendrils turning means that she's turning like corpses slash people into something through the eggs. And that it sounds like a, like garbage disposal getting activated whenever it, it happens. So that's cool. Um, it reminds me of the age old question, like when should Subaru kill himself that I keep bringing up? Like people are getting transformed into monsters. And like, I don't know what killing yourself would accomplish. Like, like, I, you know what I mean? But it's like, things are going really poorly for a lot of people right now. So that really sucks. That really sucks. Um, but yeah, but, um, oh yeah, Typhon. So I, I was talking about Typhon a bit. I did kind of forget, like, I think this was mentioned. Yeah in season three or in episode three of season two typhon judged criminals one after another and then subaru um broke into pieces because he saw himself as a sinner even though he was a good person and minerva had to put him back together so like typhon just kind of went probably well i guess it would know it was said right Pro it just went around judging people a ton or that I, I no it says i assume i would agree with this assumption considering that th that they did that with subaru or that she did that with subaru um, in which case I can understand why it's like, oh, this little girl is running around and like poking people and then they like explode, you know, we should probably put her into a city and then trap her and then drown her. Yeah, that seems pretty, that really is just how the show works. This is a, it's a crazy world, bro. Um, they really did with, uh, Regulus. This, so this is an important thing. Super prioritized, is prioritizing the Metia over Amelia because he was worried that Wrath could use her power, her authority over the Metia. Um, that's... I think that is, I agree, because um, I remember that thought hitting my brain, but I got rid of it because it's like, if she could do that, why wouldn't she have already? Um, and, and that kind of led me down a trail of thought, because it's like, okay, serious. She seems to, her ability seems to work off of who she can like talk to and maybe also like point to, but it has to do with like her, her, like how she's affecting other people, right? And so it's like, yeah, that's a very valid concern that the broadcast Metia, she could hit a lot of people. Um, but then it's like, why wouldn't she have done that already? You know, I guess because they're, they're maybe just, 
not trying like what would that accomplish i mean that that seems like such a good maybe that's how they're gonna leave because like what what would you accomplish with that she could like connect everybody and then kill one person and everybody would explode right or she could connect everybody to like get everybody to feel a certain way and i feel like that could be really helpful if they're trying to like subjugate the town right so it's like oh we want all these people to stop attack like fighting back let's just use her authority over the metia and then everybody is like i don't know like really sad or like really angry and so they start fighting each other because they can't control themselves or or whatever right and so it's like why why haven't they done that already maybe they're worried that like they that it would hit all the witch cultists too you know like that's kind of a it's kind of just affects everybody you know so Perhaps there's the worry that like her using her her authority over the Metia would like also affect the other Sin Archbishops, you know? Um, so that's kind of on the table. And it also doesn't affect everybody. Like we don't think it affects spirits right now. So, you know, um, but also like, could you not just put in earplugs? Who would win? Uh, wrath authority versus two earplugs in your ears, you know? So that's kind of where I'm at, where I think like there, I think it could be useful, but I feel like maybe, maybe it wouldn't work. And my reason for thinking it won't work is because they haven't done it already, but we really don't know. We really don't know. But yeah, I could, that is a very valid fear to have. Um, also shout out Subaru prioritizing something over Amelia. I feel like that's character growth. Um, oh yeah. And then people are saying that the rabbit's death was worse. I think I'm actually going to, I think I'm actually going to acquiesce and agree. I think I'm actually going to agree with y'all. Um, reason being, I think this is a great point. This is the only death so far in the anime that actually broke Subaru's mind. He couldn't get over the death until Echidonia saved his soul by bringing him into the tea party. I think that convinces me. I think that convinces me. Um, also they ate all of his nerves and then his brain lasts like he didn't go into shock. That's kind of a GG too. Um, but yeah, I think the, the, the point of it literally broke his mind means that it was just, it had to have been a worse experience for Subaru, you know? And then as opposed to the fear one where he like was like, oh, that sucked. And then he was back in action, right? So I'll, I'll agree. I'll finally agree with y'all. I'll agree. I think if I had to choose, well, no, I'm not going to bring that in. I'm not going to, I'm not going to choose, do the pain Olympics with his own deaths, you know? Um, about Capella's sin, lust does not always mean being hot. It, it can also mean like desecrating what is sacred. Uh, that's really cool because it make like, I think these are really two really good points on that, that she's mocking the royal family by taking their name and honestly how she looks too. Like, I think she probably, I think there's a good chance she actually is part of the royal family in some way. Um, like that seems to be on the, on the table. And then, so she's mocking the royal family and then she's also taking the form of a dragon, which is sacred for the people of the dragon kingdom. So she's, and then she's like, she's taking the form of a dragon and then going like, and like trolling. You know what I mean? She's like, she's like screwing around with it. She's not taking it seriously at all. So yeah, I, I can totally see how like, that's also another layer of how we can like picture her as a sin. Who's a worse human being, Regulus or Cape Capella? Probably Capella. Um, <laughs> Regulus is disgusting and, and seems very problematic, but he seems to do it on a, like, like Capella is like getting off to turning people into monsters, I think. That's really bad. Regulus is like really creepy and bad with Amelia, but that's just one person right now. So like one horrible thing to one person or like lots of horrible things to lots of people. Capella takes the win on being worse. You know what I mean? That's just, that's where I'm at right now. Um, but who's to say? I mean, okay. Okay, chat, hear me out. That dragon no see. Only if Capella's like, you know, like in control of the dragon. You know what I mean? Only if Capella is like in the dragon, like, dragon's brain then i can get it then i can get it um felix didn't heal super she just got rid of his ability to feel pain in his leg that's good to know um theory that they want the typhon corpse to get the pride witch factor from it i think that's a really good point because we know that pride's missing because i think that's what beetle goose said about subaru in season one like oh are you pride or something like that so i think i think that that would make sense because while like it's pride in both cases so i like i like that theory um this so i think this is so lie okay gluttony lie baton kaitos baton kaitos is a star inside the constellation called satis which means whale and then we have rory alfard alfard is a star inside a constellation of a hydra hydra is kind of similar to a snake and then the three great mob beasts are the white whale the great rabbit and the black snake so 
if we this this kind of idea here where we're dealing with like where their names are would lead us to believe that there is a third gluttony that is modeled after the great rabbit whereas the other two are modeled after the white whale and the black snake right that's kind of where we're at if we're looking at this like name this like naming business so basically that's not good for our sanity there's three of them probably um holy shit all the archbishops are here Roy Alpharad, Lai Batting Kites, Why So Serious, The Jonkler, Troll Pella, and Regular Corny Ass. I'm going to replace that with in my notes, so that's like all their names now. Um, and then lusting over the 15-year-old. Okay, so like, that's I guess where we're at in life. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, anyways, let me pull up Break Time Episode 4, um, and then we will watch Episode 5 of Break Time, and then we will watch the new episode. That's the stratagem. Bro, and people have said that this episode's really good. Not at the break time, but like this episode themselves. People were like tweaking in the, in my Discord. Shout out the Discord link in the description. People were literally tweaking, being like, what, where is Pink? Why isn't he woken up yet? Bro, I'm trying to snooze. I'm tired. Can I not lay in bed, bro? Please. No, it's fine. I'm trolling. Anyways, uh, break time episode four. Let's get this going in a three, a two, a one. Bang. Which one is that? Is that Felix? Yeah! All right. Doki Doki Royal Selection Social Gathering. Okay, I guess you can also say it. We can both say it, that's fine. Aw. Light affection. He wears that everywhere. No, you won't. No, you won't. Don't lie. Exactly. Is he built? Hey, you working out? Felix likes it. Wait, you like it, yeah? What's going on? Oh, the gate. Oh. I thought she was like feeling his, or he, sorry, was feeling his pecs. I just, I just gendered Felix as female. That's funny. Uh. Yeah, what is going on with this gate? I mean, I know that Beatrice and him are like comboing, but. Now hit Felix with her. Bam. Hmm. All right, just drop her, just drop her. But why? Oh, and then your broken gate would be freaking out. Oh, so she's able to pull his mana out before it would be a problem for him. Okay. She's, she didn't, she never told him that she was like protecting him, bro. <laughs> she was curing him. That's crazy. Don't worry. It's just in public. It's just in public, Beatrice. Don't worry. Okay. That's, that's some good gate lore. That's some good gate information. I, I guess I kind of wasn't really thinking about what had, what had happened with his gate anymore at that point. Um, cause yeah, I, I guess, I think in my brain, it was like s probably slowly getting healed, but cause it had just been a year, but yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, episode five break time. Uh, um, I think this one's actually important. I'm getting this one off of YouTube. All right. Three, two, one. Bang. Please tell me there's going to be uh, subtitles. All right. We're good. What's good, Al? How you doing? Great waterfalls followers. Okay. Beatrice gets to be in like all of these, bro. She's just a connected. I guess that makes sense. Priscilla clapping. All right. See, about to say that like, so like basically, so basically uh, Japan, question mark.
No, he's he's giving him like idioms that only like people in Japanese Japan would know or something like that. Good job, Super. You figured it out. <laughs> Wait, that's actually kind of crazy. This is kind of a big deal, bro. What? It's in a break time? That's crazy. No, he's the president. Yeah. He's the president. You're the you're the second one. Oh, he's old. How old were you when you came here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. We we know of some more than they do. Then, Flugel, and Hoshin. Although they haven't met them, we haven't met them either. To be fair. You're my bro. Aww. Aww, my bro. Features, be nice to Al. He's my bro. Aww. Wait, dude, that's so crazy. Okay. That's literally just a showing of there is so much going on in this show right now that an actually pretty important event has to get put in the break times because they're too busy, bro. They're too busy with these like new episodes that we don't even got that time. Oh, wait, this is episode four. I don't need to scroll through episode four. I'm fine. I already did that off camera. But it's like we don't even got that time to like... Oh, Regulus, get off of my screen, bro. I don't want to see you right now. But it's like they don't even have the time to put these things in the episodes right now. Is that what you're telling me? That's crazy. Okay, so that, that means Al hasn't met anybody else. Um, we just... Mm. But in my in my notes, total we have a total of four people that we're thinking come from uh, other places. Okay. Woo! New episode, new episode. What is going to happen? We got to fight the dragon? Eventually. We got to save Amelia? Eventually. We've got to deal with gluttony? Eventually. And we've got to do a lot of other things. Basically, there's a million things to solve and not a million people to do it. Um, also remember Reinhardt is still like getting like harassed by Heinz ketchup. So that kind of sucks. All right, I'm so fine. Let's just get this going. Regulus, please don't do anything crazy in this, in these first like 10 seconds in a three, a two, a one. Bang. Ah! <laughs> Bro, okay, I'm pausing. Nope, nope, get out. Stop, 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 stop. I don't even care. I don't even care. Imagine that you didn't even watch the end credit of last episode. And then you're like, oh my god, it's a new episode. Oh, Reg Regulus. And then you just get that dropped on you, bro. I would literally lose my mind if that was the first, like, if that was the first time we had seen that, I it would have been over, bro. How are you supposed to start an episode with that, bro? That's crazy. All right. Episode five. Sorry, so sorry. For real this time. In a three, a two, a one. Bang. It's just, that's so crazy. The one thing. Yeah, that's all that really matters, bro. So true. So true. Amelia's like, um, actually, no, I'm not going to make a joke. Frick it. She's so polite. <laughs> She's so polite, bro. And he's about to say like, and I have a right to that. I have a right to knowing that actually. No, exactly. Okay, I was gonna make a joke where she was like, um, I've act I've kissed Subaru before, so I'm not a virgin. You know? She doesn't even know. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> we're gonna make it. We're gonna be okay. You're, we're gonna be okay. Virgin soul. Okay. We're gonna be okay. Regular corny ass. <laughs> is 79 a special number? I mean, I know it's just sequentially, but... Who, do you have an attendant? 
Yo, he has an attendant. 184? What? Oh, he still has his wives. Polygamy? <laughs> Get away from me! Don't touch me! <laughs> Amelia, ice magic. Us? Okay, I guess plural. Whatever, that's fine. What? What do you mean? Wait, that doesn't make sense. 184, 79, so why, why, why is she 79? Makes you his wife. Yep. That's true. It's his right. Gilgamesh? Little King. She just called his his pee pee small. Wait, she just called his pee pee small, and we're just we're just drifting past that. Yeah, Amelia, we're a little too busy to be playing role play over here. Okay, this is you tell one eighty four. Tell hey one eighty four. I'm eloping. Is that what it's called? And then you just bust out the window. All right, you can be naked. That's fine. Okay, no 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 no. Okay, put the clothes on first, Amelia. Let's put the clothes on and then let's let's jump out the window. Cause we don't gotta deal with this, bro. You don't gotta be a princess in a castle. Oh wait, I actually get the lyrics this time? This is new, right? I should have been free. Well, I already read the lyrics separately, right? But built in. Reality is entangled and stagnated. Oh yeah, remember this girl? She's in the show. What's her name, Liliana? I think. I think so. Oh, I don't care. Serious, serious. Oh, we saw, see all of his wives in the background there. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Reguluses, Reguluses. Bro. I wonder if there is a third gluttony. Like every single time they're here, we only see two, bro. Wait, wait, maybe, okay. So the two, Capella, I need to look at that closer. For the orbs, because it looks like the little, like, lions come out of the orbs. But I don't know if she had orbs there. Does she have Pokeballs, alright? Is she putting people into Pokeballs and then turning them into Pokemon? That's my, that's my currently, current thought. Alright, shut up. Everybody be quiet. Whip time. Whip time. Oh, he got little claws. got little claws. The hopper. Little girl user is crazy. Uh. <laughs> Hearing that in a serious fight is crazy. All right. Boom. Boom. Mm. Bro just hungry, I think. I think bro just hungry. Super not falling for the bait, though. Oh. Oh, he caught him newly. Um. Ow! I know he- Ow, his leg! Yikes! Okay, we're here. Meteor? You mean Metia? Is that a dragon? Oh, it's in the room! It's just in the room! Alright, we're dead. Alright, we're just dead. Random hostage? Oh wait, that works? Crucial. Wait. Okay, it doesn't have regen because Capella's not in it. Is this a separate dragon? That was way too easy. Maybe it's only it only has regen if she's like puppeteering its body. Or it's another dragon. Or is that wait, I don't trust the child. Don't trust the child. Kill the child. Wait, I was a little too hasty. I was a little too hasty on that call. I'm gonna be honest. Don't kill the child. Not yet. Ugh, close it. Close it. Ugh. It's horrible in there. It's gory. It's horrible. Don't go in there. Oh, they're giant like flies or locusts or something. 
Oh, I hate that. Oh, I really don't like that. Oh, I really don't like that one. I hate that one. I really don't like that. Good shot. That's a good shot. That's a really good shot. Whoa. I told you not to trust that child. I told you not to trust the child. We should have killed the child. Damn it. Subaru, kill the child. I was right. Ah! Close the door behind you. It's Capella, bro. What? Okay, I kind of, dude, she got, good move, good move, Capella. I, ooh. I never said that, I never said that. Hey, yo, okay, whoa, 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 what is going on? Oh, shit, whip tech, whip tech. <laughs> she takes those? She kind of like it though. She kind of like that. Oh, she moaned. Wait, I kind of like it. I mean, like as an ability. What hit him? What hit him? Her dragon tail. Bro. What is... Dude, her authority is crazy. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm into it though. Oh, is that it? Oh, we're just dead. It's just over. Ugh. Wings? I feel like she... Bro, I don't... Yeah, we're just dead. It's just over. It's just so over. Dang, she kind of posed up, though. Wait, I kind of like it. Yeah, give me the name drop. Give me the name drop. Oh, okay. She's put, she's wearing that face just to troll. Yo! <laughs> Wait, this is cool. That's so cool. So that's why she's taking on... That's why she looks like that. She doesn't actually... Okay. They're people. Or they were people. That is such a... Okay, so she's got like alt herself ter permanently. That's so cool. That is so cool. Oh man, no prize. Subaru, kill yourself and answer it faster to get the prize. The prize, it's gonna be worth it, bro. Dude. Ah, oh, shapeshifters are so OP. I love shapeshifters. That's lust, bro. That's lust. That's why she kind of like it, though. Okay, she's got me. Damn it, she got me, bro. She's got me. She's crazy. I like it. Aw, oh, man. Okay, you don't gotta enunciate like that. Calm down. Yeah, whip her, whip her, whip her. Ah, she's gonna like that, though, bro. Oh, okay. So that's probably... Her doing the lions in the OP was probably just her transforming. This is crazy. I can't even do this, bro. Don't dress it up as love. Yeah, calm down. All right, we can we can have a conversation. Yo, not Amelia, not Amelia, not Amelia. Yo. Oh, that's just wrong. Nah, you love her because she's hot. Is that what you're saying? But what if she was ugly? Is that your argument? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Subaru. Dude, she's really got him, bro.
Would you love me if I was a worm? Would you love me if I was a worm? Capella is the, the epitome of would you love me if I was a worm? Oh! <laughs> We've lost the leg. We've lost the leg. Okay, it's okay. That one was already wounded, all right? That was the leg to lose. Stop posing, bro. Stop posing. Just kill him. Just kill him, please, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what are you going to do with... What are you going to do with her? Put her in an orba? Ah, ow, 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 ow. Why? Oh, her blood can transform people, bro. My blood has dragon blood in it. Dragon blood curse. Okay. Um, don't give me that. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want your dragon blood, bro. You. Okay. More suffering. Oh. What is going on? We're cutting to another fight right now. Wait, that wait, is Super not just dead? Bro, Garfield just got tossed like a wet rag, bro. I feel like these two got a little bit of respect, bro. Oh. Oh, what is happening? What? We're cutting to Anastasia? What is going on? What is going on? Dude, Capella is something else. I'm still thinking about Capella. That was crazy, bro. Not her, like, okay, never mind. Luckin', 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 luckin'. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. That's <laughs> pretty good. Siri, okay, it's, it's over, bro. Oh man, that's funny. I was like a normal ass conversation, and Sirius just walks in, bro. <laughs> like, oh, bro. Shape changers are always the top of every tier list when it comes to lust, bro, because they can turn into anything, bro. Capella just won. I'm pissed. Okay, but Sirius is a close second, you know what I mean? My goodness, gravy. Oh, it's actually over. It's actually over for these two. Anastasia, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Oh, Timmy and Tobby or whatever. Had her own TV. A forbidden method? Oh, just to block the pain? Or some shit. Bro, wait, Mimi is about to be crazy. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Because, yeah, if they get hurt, it's going to hurt her more, bro. Oh, no, bro. They're so dead, bro. It, they're dead. It's dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Oh, they're the little brothers? That's fun. Mimi's the oldest of the, of the triplets. All right. They look excited to go get killed. Have fun. Yo. That's a big line. Give her like a ring or something. Okay, I tried. 
and our beloved songstress. No. Oh, back to Heinz Ketchup? Okay. Felt is really just chilling. Reinhardt, go help! Go help everybody else! I'm so over this stalemate. I'm so over this stalemate. Everyone's getting jumped. We need you, Reinhardt. Sirius literally just walked into Anastasia's, like, house. Ew, a cockroach. But why? Is he... That was Reinhardt. Reinhardt controlled bugs. He has bug control ability. Now punch him! Bam! One of those. Ha! Thank you. Thank you. Sits back down. <laughs> That's true, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Otto! Oh, I thought Reinhardt did that. Okay. I was about to say, Reinhardt just stole Otto's ability. Thanks, Otto. Give me reparations for putting cockroaches on my face. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay. What is that? Huh? Oh, oh, okay. Is that the guard? I assume. Bro, I'm still thinking about Capella. All right, lock in. Tap his feet. Oh, they're they are tied. They are tied. Yeah, Otto is a better bodyguard. <laughs> Put some respect on Otto. Otto, can we go mind control the dragon, please? That'd be cool. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Thank you. Finally. I mean, Super is right now getting turned into like a monster, bro. What is going on? My ad block. Whose voice is that? Is that the other two buffoons? Is that the buffoons? It is the buffoons. Oh my goodness, I was right. Why did she get the, the three buffoons, bro? All right, new event just dropped. Garfield just got ran over. Dude, we're, it's so over for us. It's so over. It's so over. They're literally flooding the city. Wait, how many of them? Just one? Oh, him with wet hair. It's a new hairstyle. Is, what is happening to Subaru in there, bro? Super is fine. Wait, so did he control the drag? Wait, what happened? Or no, no, she she's doing this. Pure, surely, right? No, no, no. She's attacking them. Wait, what? Did Super take control of the dragon somehow? <gasps> ah, no! Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Because he doesn't seem like he's transforming, you know? No, 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 no. End credit scene, end credit scene, end credit scene, end credit scene. Dude, what is going on anymore, bro? The city's flooding. Super, okay. That's the thing is he got dragons blooded and then I feel like the dragon was acting a little weird and then they cut away. But it looks like the dragon's now on our side. So did Super take control of the dragon? How would he even do that? 
I mean, like, envy. You just say, F it, we ball, it's envy, you know? I'm very envious of your dragon. I want it now. Like, uh, but that doesn't make any sense. I'm just yapping. Mmm. Bro, why does this look so clean, bro? Look at these shots, bro. I can't believe Capella literally is. Would you love her if she was a fly? That's so funny, dude. But yeah, she's testing the aesthetic quality of love, bro. She's she's testing the aesthetic quality of love, which is actually a really good uh, criticism of love. Yeah, that's that's facts. I mean, like, I'm not gonna bang a fly personally, so I'm not gonna fall in love with a fly personally. I don't, you know, I'm a, I'm a little shallow. Bro, end credit scene, please be goaded. I need you. I need you, end credit scene. I need you. Hands and knees. Okay. Um, I think we have to reset. The Subaru, I think we need to die. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Amelia, take the cl take Put clothes on and jump out the window. Oh, she's got a bed sheet on still. <laughs> she's looking over at the other wife like, what do we do about this? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Three more demands. The Tome of Wisdom. Okay. The Artificial Spirit. Okay. Regulus's wedding? Don't interfere in the wedding. Aw, she cares about Regulus. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Wait, she just she just gave Regulus an assist. That's cr okay. Tome of Wisdom? What are you yammering about? I'm writing those down. Tome of Wisdom, artificial spirit? Artificial spirit. I don't even know. I don't know what those mean. Okay, well, we wrote it down. Okay. Okay, okay. Bro, how am I supposed to go weekly on this show? I can't, this is such a binge show. I just want to see the next thing that, like, like, dude. Okay, it's okay. Capella is insane. I, dude, I thought I was gonna hate her character. Not hate, but I was, I was not expecting to like her character, bro. After, like, her introduction where she was just like, she's like high-pitched and squealy, but she kind of, I don't know, bro. You add in the shape-shifting and shit changes. I'm just gonna say, shit changes. This, all these scenes, bro. Look at her doing, like, these d double donkey kick. Gunk, gunk, yeah. Like this? Look, what is... This is crazy, bro. It's like a, it's, it's so funny because she's obviously, like... What am I trying to say? It's like body horror, right? I mean, she's, she's playing with bo... She's playing with like body horror, right? Where she's turning people into flies and then like, you know, pouring dragon's blood on people. This obviously is not good for Capella or for um Krush, you know? But like, so it's interesting that she herself, oh no, but I figured it out. Okay. I was going to say, it's interesting that she herself has chosen like a, like aesthetically pleasing vessel. You know what I mean? Like she could turn herself into like a gross monstrosity, but like she wants people to love her. Which I guess is why, but she's also like a monster. You know what I mean? So it is kind of like a, yeah, like I'm lust. I'm transforming people into horrible things and I'm pretty. And then all the people I'm turning into horrible things, they look ugly, but you love them, but I'm pretty, you know? So it's, I feel like she's kind of playing with like that. And then of course, obviously she's still doing the whole, um, looking like a... Uh, whatever, uh, Luguncia. She's also, of course, looking like that. And it is funny, like, I, I originally thought she was a member of the royal family. Now, n not at all anymore, right? Um, just because, like, I mean, she has dragon's blood, so she might be connected to the dragon stuff somehow, but I don't know squat about the dragons, so, like, it's kind of just a GG, right? Um, but yeah, she's obviously just shape-shifted into that form in order to mock people better, right? That's kind of what, what we can assume. Um... I'm so surprised, by the way, that Subaru is still alive. I thought it was a... I mean, he's down a leg. Um, surely he has to die. Like this. Okay, what happens here? This is the dragon. If you see some towards Cartan. So the dragon gets lit. 
Why... Does she have a butterfly on the end of that thing? That's like an Echidonia reference. Why does she have a butterfly there? Is that important? Uh, is that supposed to be important? Why does she have a butterfly? That's literally like Betty slash um, Echidonia. Mm. But Echidonia's greed. Why does she have a butterfly, bro? Okay, yeah, so here's a little bit of Dragon's Blood in your system. Subaru's having a great day. She kind of like it though. Of course she got fangs. And then the dragon's like, no, nah, I can't stand for this anymore. That's not half bad. What is going on there? What do you mean that's not half bad? Dude, I don't know what's going on with this dragon. Is the dragon, okay, so. Sorry, uh, is the dragon like, cause this is, this was, di okay, okay. We gotta go to episode four. I gotta bring up episode four. Uh, episode four. Boom. So, dragon in episode four, purple colored eyes. Is this, the question is, is this Capella in a dragon form? Or is this her taking over the dragon? You know what I mean? Because it's, it's very, it's very crazy to me that she can shapeshift. But then also there's, all, there's still like a full ass dragon. But also the dragon was under her control. So I think she has two abilities then, right? She has shapeshifting... Plus, she can take control of monstrosities, right? I mean, like that's I think that's reasonable to assume here. And then this now is it a different dragon? It's got the same horns. Um, I need a better shot of it. Okay, these are comparisons to make. I think they might be different. Uh, I can't really tell. No, yeah, there's a different color scheme, right? Okay, maybe she, okay, new, new thought just dropped. What if she shapeshifted into a dragon and then seduced another dragon and then that's the, that's the, that's the joke. Because look at this, right? The, obviously they have, they, they have different color eyes, but I, I, I was thinking that's just because she um, was like controlling it. But I don't think she's controlling it because uh, look at it, it's like shoulder blades, right? The shoulder blade, it's like dark right here. But you go to this one and it's light. So they're different designs. And this has spikes at the bottom of it's like kind of tattery wings. I'm not seeing, I know there are spikes down here for her. Yeah, I think she, I think what happened is she transformed herself into a like female version, I assume, of this, of this dragon to seduce it. And then the dragon, and then this is the dragon being like, I'm tired of this shit. You know what I mean? I'm done, I'm done with you. Because also, like, I mean, did it even sw swing on him? It was just kind of standing there. No, I mean, that's aggressive. That's aggressive. But, I mean, it went down in, like, three shots, bro. Dragons are weak as hell, bro. Maybe its heart wasn't in the fight, though. It's confused, bro. It's like, where's my lover, bro? I think that's what's going on. Because, yeah, we already took out one of its eyes. Like, crushed it, bro. And then it literally lays down. It's like, yeah, I'm tired, bro. This shit sucks. I knew we shouldn't have trusted that child. Never trust a hostage child. You always gotta kill the kid. You know what I mean? I was right. I was right about that. Um, we saw, we've also figured out, I was, I was curious about the, the OP with like the Pokemon thing. Um, she doesn't have Pokeballs. She's literally manifesting. That, those are her arms, bro. I guess, yeah, I guess we kind of could have seen that. But it's not like attached to the Pokeballs. That's a separate thing. So yeah, um, she definitely got that, got that um, lion in her. You know what I mean? Uh, Amelia, I need you to like lock in other than just being naked all episode and just like doing nothing personally, but that's just me. All right, back to Capella. Get back to Capella, much more important. Um, would you love me if I turned you into a fly? Wait, I'm gonna... It's so fun to watch her transform, bro. Move your leg. Are you infatuated with my... Dang, look at how they animated her, bro. The animation go crazy this episode. Look at all the... She's so, like, expressive. Female meat. Man, that's so crazy. She's calling people meat. And that's the meat scraps thing. I mean, it's so, like, reductive of people. But I, but, and that's so fitting for lust, you know? That's like, yeah, lust, you just view people as flesh. It's like, oh, me gusta flesh. I like the way your body curves. But it's like, it is nothing about, like, actually, get, you know? It's all just, like, flesh. So she's, I, I, Yeah. 
And then she just tanks this hit. So she also has like regen. Yeah, so that is the same dragon. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because the dra her as a dragon had regen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um Though that does mean that she has to be limited in her transformations, right? She can't just do that infinitely, because otherwise she would have just turned back into a dragon right here to chase to chase this dragon. Surely, right? But instead she just went for a little smack. Is her leg okay? Oh no, she's just standing. Okay, yeah, yeah. I feel like surely she would have like been like, if she had it infinite, she could have just gone for it. What is going on here though, bro? Is he holding on? Oh my goodness, look at him fall. <laughs> no, it's super, it's somebody catch him. Oh my goodness, look at him, dude. He falls like a PNG, bro. <laughs> Bro, he doesn't even have like an outline. He just tumbles. He, look at him go, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Hmm, I need to rewatch this again. Okay, so. Okay, he's awake and holding on. Oh, he used his whip to tie Cruz to the dragon's leg. Subaru is built different, dude. Subaru is built so different. He's literally currently getting intoxicated by black dragon's blood. And then mid Dragon's Blood intoxication, he, look at him, he's literally tripping in the back and he gets one opening from the dragon doing a breath attack and then crawls over to the dragon, ties Krush to the dragon, attaches to the dragon himself and then, can, and then flies away. That is so crazy, dude. Did you do a fire move there? Oh no, she's just kicking something. She's just kicking a piece of wood. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh no, chat. I have so I have such bad news. I have such horrible news. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um They got my ass. I've said before that I I haven't ever been too impressed with the waifu selection in ReZero. I'm gonna be honest. I think Rem and Ram are overrated as waifus. I think Amelia is overrated as waifus, right? I use the term Kind of ironically, I'm not a weeb, by the way, but like you understand what I mean. I'm just using your language here, okay? But like, yeah. However, they've really got me with Sirius and Capella. I'm gonna be honest, guys. They've really got me with Sirius and Capella. They had to bring in the the antagonists, and it just fell apart for me, bro. How are like? And and it's the problem. I have a when it comes to tier. Listen, I'm a tier list expert. I've made a lot of tier lists in my time, okay? When it comes to attractiveness. One type of character always wins. The shapeshifter. That's why the most attractive Pokemon is Ditto. No one wants to believe me. They want to say they're Lopunnies. They want to see their, like, um, like Sylveons, their, their Vaporeons, you know? The Evolutions. They want to say all these things. Uh, Lucario, whatever. No, it's Ditto, okay? If you can't handle that, then you are you are lesser. I'm going to be honest, you're lesser, all right? You got you to gotta come to this, this knowledge. Shapeshifters can turn into anything, therefore they're the best, right? And it's actually an argument that is completely a lot, like that argument of mine, which I have held fervently, is absolutely aligned with lust, with the Capella lust, because she is saying that it's all about flesh, meat, scraps, aesthetic quality, right? Where she's literally like transforming into other things and being like, you wouldn't love Amelia if she was a gross fly, would you? Because you, you like her because she's hot, bro. You know, like you could only fall in love with things that are pleasing to your eye, right? Something like that. Um, and then she, of course, is taking advantage of that by turning into all these different things while being a piece of shit, but it's like, you know what I mean? So, but the thing is she's right. When it comes to attractiveness, she's absolutely correct. It's just a question of how much does attractiveness factor into the idea of love, which is great because it continues the question that has been like the thematic entire point of, I feel like most of these sins, which is what, how do they feel about love, right? Like she is, she has made a extremely um, like, precise point. She has made a very specific argument about love. So I really appreciate that. I think that's really cool. Um, yeah. And, but she's, but like in a way I've used her argument before. So that kind of trips me out. You know what I mean? And this is him just holding on for dear life. See, I think what confused me first where I thought Subaru was controlling the dragon the reason I thought that is A, he had just gotten dragon's blood in his system. And so I thought maybe there was something there. B, because his eyes were closed in this scene. I thought since his eyes were closed, I thought he was unconscious and that he was like projecting himself into the dragon or some shit. I don't think that's the case. But him, him having his eyes closed 
made me think that he wasn't like active in that in that in that part, right? Or that like he you know that the dragon was somehow doing something. Um, but no, that's not the case because he was awake and making moves when he tied when the dragon first left because that was him tying. He had to he tied crew Sean to the dragon, right? We saw his eyes open in that scene. Um do we have to die here? We really haven't died yet. It's kind of crazy. Well, we died like a, a couple times with so serious. Why so serious? But I mean, we're down a leg. That's pretty bad. It's just so much plot happened. Like that's the thing. I really thought we were going to die in this scene. This felt like a like you can kind of feel it. Like like oh, Super is getting tortured and he's getting wounded, right? Like it's like, "Oh, he has to die." But then he just did it, right? He escaped with the dragon. And then a bunch of this plot happened with Anastasia, and then a bunch of this plot happened with Reinhard. And then it, and then a, a, the, some of the fight continued with the Garfield and friends, right? So it, that kind of tripped me out where I was like, oh shoot, maybe, you know, maybe uh, maybe maybe he's not gonna die, right? Uh, what dragon in the OP are we fighting? It looks purple, purple eyes to me. Yeah, that's purple. All right, so that's a uh, her homegirl as dragon. But yeah. So, and then, like, even this, even the Amelia scene afterwards, like, this all happened after the spot that I thought Super would die in, right? She's got in control of the, me the Metea back. So it's kind of crazy, bro. Why is she posing like this, bro? Like, she's just trolling. She's just kicking stuff. Is it hopeless? Is it hopeless is the question, bro. Oh my goodness, Capella. Can I just watch you transform into other people again? That was so fun. Bro, the animation was so crazy. You can't even speak of it in the open and dress it up as love. Yeah, that's so funny. That, so like, what do you think love should be? That's what I want to hear. She's she's taken, she's very specifically said, or, or maybe she thinks that nobody can love. Maybe Yeah, maybe she's like idolizing love and saying that nobody is living up to that ideal of hers because all their loves are built in lust. Which is really ironic that she's like she's lust, but I think she's crit. I think she's criticizing lust, right? Because she's saying, "Don't you dare take that carnal desire, lust, that you can't even speak of in the open and dress it up as love." So don't take carnal de desire and dress it up as love. I mean, if you could speak of it in the open, like maybe, hmm, there's two things you could pull from this. You could either say that if you were able to speak of it in the open, then it would be okay to dress up as love. In which case, it's like. Just be honest with your lust, and then you can accept that I'm willing to accept that as love, right? So in, in which case, it's basically just like, be honest with yourself, right? Or she could be saying that don't take that lust that you use in this way and dress, up, dress it up as love. That even if you were open about it, it still wouldn't be love. Like, it, there's a little bit of ambiguity in what she can mean. I think she can mean either. <laughs> right? She's like, damn, let me catch my breath. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tripping. Anyways, think you'll say that shit? <laughs> Why? That's so funny, bro. Think you'll say that shit again after seeing this? Bro, that's such a good line. I feel like the lines this season have been so, fu they've been so like human to me, bro. I, I, like a lot of the times, like lines in like shows feel like lines in shows. But her saying, think you'll say that shit again? That's literally something I would say, like I say normally, bro. Yeah, what, you trying to say that shit again? That's like, that's normal, bro. So her saying that is so funny, bro. Like, that's so clean. That's so clean. And she can change her voice. That's the thing. I thought her voice was kind of annoying. She can change that shit, bro. She's perfect. Oh, she's perfect. She's just a little crazy, okay? But that's okay. Oh my goodness. Why? Why? Why are all the archbishops the good ones, bro? Who cares about Rem and Ram? <laughs> But yeah, so I know what she's criticizing, but what does she believe love should be, bro? What does she believe love should be? That's my question for her. What the lizard passed out over there. Oh, so the lizard was a person. Oh, maybe the lizard was a person because she's saying... I'm sure you know what the lizard passed out over there and all the flies are. Oh, she transformed somebody into a into a dragon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So she didn't seduce a dragon. She transformed somebody into a dragon using the things, the, the orbs. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, fixed, 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 fixed. I'm 
What would the prize have been? Please, 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 please. Would it have been what I think it is, Capella? Please. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Lock in! Okay, but no, I want to I I learn about you in love. It's only natural. Okay. Looking at them disgust you on an instinctive level. That's only natural. No one could love creatures like those. Okay, I could love a dragon. A dragonussy, bro. Listen, if you think nobody could love a creature like those, you're wrong. Because I could go to rule 34 and type fly and shit would pop up, you know? I could type I could type dragon and shit would pop up, all right? I mean, to be fair, that is lust, but that is you. Your, your entire argument is that flies are not aesthetically attractive. Bro, people are crazy. People, people will think a lot of things are attractive. People can like, do, you know? But also I get your point. I mean, I do understand your point. I do agree with your point overall, yeah. I'm, I'm all about making people love me. I would never do something so barbaric. I want as many as possible for as long as possible, as deeply as possible to love me. Okay. That's all I'm asking for. But how do you want to be loved? Do you want to be loved because of how you look or because of like all the things you are making fun of Subaru for? <laughs> this bird just starts panicking. <laughs> you always end up drooling over that female me because you want her so bad. That The thing, though, is, like, you can turn into anyone, Capella. So, like, you can't make the argument that you're not loved because of how you look. Because you can look at, like anything. But you could be making the argument that you're not loved purely because of how you look. And so you would look like things like 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 you... And then be like, oh, well, you don't love me, you love them. Well, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's like a double thing where it's like, she could be, she could, like, if she thinks that all love is is lust, then she could make anyone love her because she can turn into anything, right? So, by her, like, so there has to be an argument that she's making that. I think she's against lust. Okay, that's my thing. I think, I, okay, that's where I'm at. I think she's, she is criticizing lust. She's doing it very precise, very specifically. You always end up drooling over that female me because you want her so bad. And if she really wanted that, if she wanted to be drooled over in that way, she would just turn into Krush, you know? Like, that, that's it. So, by the very nature of that not being enough, she has to accept that there's more to love than just lust. And I think that's precisely what she's trying to get everyone to, to the point of. So I think she's criticizing lust. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And saying like, she wants to be loved for in non-lustful ways. And that's, I think, where I'm at. And so it's like, she's like, by, yeah. And this is so unhinged, bro. Can you swear that you haven't had lewd thoughts for a single second? The thing is, like, when she said that, bro, she was not talking to Subaru, bro. She was talking to me. Hmm. Yeah, so she thinks very highly of love. Okay. I think. And I think she's criticizing how other people love. If you think love will keep you together, see if you can still love her when she turns into a fly. I think you can, you can't, can you? <laughs> Ripping herself in half as Amelia in front of Subaru is crazy. Yeah, what, what a good animation, bro. You just look at me, meat scrap. Hmm. Or is she different? Maybe that's her argument. Maybe it's like, love is lust, and I'm the most lusty, therefore I should be the most loved. Maybe, th maybe that feels better. Because I'm, I'm, I'm so stuck right now. I'm stuck between whether she idolizes love and puts it really highly and thinks that people's lo lust attempts are beneath that, therefore people aren't loving like to the, to the peak, versus 
lust is all love is, and everybody's lying to themselves, and she's the most lusty, therefore she deserves the most love. You know? Because she is like, everybody look at me, everybody look at me. And so it almost feels like that feels kind of lustatious. Though it's like, bro, nobody's gonna love you if you're ripping off their arms. I'm gonna, or their legs. I'm just gonna be honest with you. My head hurts. I got all excited and lost my composure. Yeah, because, like, she's always acting all, like, tee cutesy Which is, like, again, kind of aesthetic, right? That's kind of the way you're flaunting your meat, so to speak. So, yeah. It's so funny, bro. It reminds me of Sloth. It reminds me of Beetlegoose, bro. Where Beetlegoose was literally, like, his entire thing was Sloth, but he was the most hyperactive guy, you know, that I've ever seen. And it's kind of the same thing, where it's like, her thing is lust, but she's criticizing how love, how people dress up love, or dress up lust as love. But she still wants to be loved. Mm, yeah. Okay, anyways, I've been kind of, I think I've been kind of stuck on that for, for, for a minute too long there. Sorry, the thoughts are a little, a lot of, thoughts are a little scattered, right? She's a lot of energy to take in at once. I think I'm not wrong for that, okay? Anyways, though, um, what has even happened this episode? 79 wives, number 184, change number 79's clothes. Are so, is he picking random numbers or is he counting down? I don't know. Um, also, is he, is he training people or does he have an ability to mind control them, right? Is he like kidnapping girls and like molding them to his will? Like, literally? Or like, 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 how is he doing it? Is he doing that through magic or authority? Or is he just doing that by like acting, like just by like being mean to them, you know? Like, because you can manipulate somebody without casting spells on them. So, like, I'm kind of curious how he's doing that. We don't really have an answer for that. Um, this poor random girl, number 184. It's just crazy that she's a wife. She's 184. I thought it would go 0 to 79, not X to, to 0 or whatever. Because um, I could see the case. So, maybe he's like, I want to have 300 virgin wives, right? Maybe, maybe there's a very specific number. And so, he started at 300 and went down. I don't know, though. Um... Yeah, bro, lust, no, no wonder that Capella and Regulus get along. They both agree that, that love is superficial. For him, it's just the quality of virginity, which is just purity, right? And also looking pretty. And for that's exactly what lust is about. So she's like, she, maybe they would agree. Maybe that's why she was like, don't interrupt the wedding. Because she was like, oh, Regulus at least gets love. I wonder if she thinks that. Does she think that? Um, cause Regulus is superficial with it and he doubles down on it being superficial, right? That's his entire point is how superficial it is. And that's what she's all about. But her criticism is that people are saying it's other things because it's, oh, it looks more colorful because I can be my true self. That's her criticism. And so Regulus, she couldn't criticize cause Regulus is, is completely consistent with that, right? That if they were ugly, if they were turned into a fly, Regulus wouldn't love them anymore. Unless maybe he loved, he would love a virgin fly. No, he wouldn't. I'm trolling, right? He would only, he only loves pretty virgins. And so Capella would have to agree that he's consistent. And that's, I think, why she would help him with the wedding and be like, don't, don't interfere in the wedding. Yeah, that's probably, I probably think that. I think I do. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. I feel like, a, okay. I feel like pieces are starting to fall together a bit. And then Sirius, of course, feels completely different than all of these, right? She's like obsessive fucking insano mano mode. Yeah. My goodness. Also, now we're both infected with dragon's blood. Are we actually going to transform? Because nothing else happened, right? And we weren't put into eggs. So, like, do we turn into eggs? Because we're still infected. Both Krush and Subaru. And maybe Subaru just drowns and then we reset. But, like, I kind of feel like we aren't going to do that. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't really know what's going on there. But yeah, um cool. Anything else this episode, bro? What a crazy episode, bro. This episode was kind of goaded, bro. Sirius or Capella, who's more interesting? That they're definitely my top 2 of the archbishops right now. I'm probably like Sirius Capella in first place. Uh Beetlegoose is really cool too and Regulus. I feel like the the Greek, the gluttony the gluttony duo slash trio needs to needs to make some moves because um, they're they're right now they're less interesting than the other ones they're just kind of hungry you know what how do you feel about love how do you feel about love I want I want to get more of that more of that type bro 
Look at this shot. This shot is real? Oh my goodness. I just need to see this again. This is such a good scene. Like... Why'd you turn into... Th oh, is this the hostage? That looks like a hostage. And then Krush. The way that the hair is like sticking to her skin flaps, flaps for a second there. Like, ugh, it has to like swap out like slime. And then she like rips it off. Oh my goodness, bro. Is she like an ooze? Is she like a slime ooze? It's just, it's just crazy. Hmm. Okay, but person, last thing I'll say, last thing I'll say, because I've just been like staring at her for minutes now. Last thing I'll say, if she kidnapped me and turned me into a dragon, that's kind of a win. Now I'm a dragon. You know what I mean? Like, like, not all transformations are bad. I want to be, dragons are cool, bro. Who doesn't want to be a dragon? And, and, oh, what, what is the criteria for transformation? Because she was, she was saying... I'm gonna find out what sorts of ugly meat scraps you guys will turn into. But like, some turn into flies, some turn into dragons. So it, surely it depends on the person, no? Maybe like, the, oh, maybe it's kind of like, it reminds me of Typhon, right? Cause didn't, wasn't the entire idea with Typhon and pride, her pride, uh, witch factor? Wasn't like the entire point that it like, you kind of judged yourself in a way, and that's why Subaru like broke into a bunch of pieces because that's like how he saw himself or something. Is it kind of like that, where like if you think you're a meat scrap fly piece of garbage, then you'll turn into one, or like it's somehow built on like your own, like something internal with you, and that's just like pulling it to the surface. You know, kind of like a moon scorch, bro. Shout out for your hunger, random, but like you know what I mean. It kind of reminds me of that, maybe. And is there a way to like? Undo this, bro? I don't know. She finds this really funny, though. My little sadomasochist. Alright, anyways. Anyways. Go- Oh my goodness, I forgot about these- I forgot about this entire fight, bro. I forgot that Sirius was jumping the twins. And- Okay, wait, wait. One last thing here. There was a shot of Mimi. That was crazy. Right here. Right here. I think Mimi's back in action. I used a forbidden method, same thing I used on Subaru's leg. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know exactly what that means. I think it's I think it's like turning off the pain or something, or like mitigating something, but not actually healing her. Um and so now these two who are it sucks. They're literally she's so wounded and they're sharing the damage they take in this fight with her. So every time they get hit, she's like getting closer to death's door, bro. That's so bad. I can't take this, bro. And she's like, I'm gonna run. Bye. It's kind of per bro, it's kind of perfect for um for a serious to be like dealing with twins because she appreciates that like empathetic bond between them. This is actually perfect. This is literally the thing I was talking about last episode, bro. I was literally talking about the thing about how like they have like such a similarity between their abilities. So it's actually kind of fun to see them interact. Wait, what? Get Mimi and the others out? Okay. And then she just leaves and we get the squad and they're all gonna jump serious. So hopefully that goes well. Uh, and now everything's getting flooded and everyone's gonna die and everything's horrible and it's over and everything's on fire and we're sad and we're crying and Super has no leg and we're over. All right, <laughs> good stuff. Why does she have butterflies? Who knows? Anyways, that's all I got for this one. Episode five of season three of Re as you row on to the next episode six should be excited. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me or other ReZero fans there. But until then, until the next episode, that's like Carpenter. I will be seeing you then.